Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle and today it's probably gonna be a little lengthy video so just bear with me. But I'm gonna give a mini haul of what we got at Disney World. Not a lot, actually I'm gonna do a haul of what I got. Um, not what the kids got because I'm doing this early in the morning before church and they are asleep right now. So I don't want to go in their rooms and like, give me everything you got and I'll show it in the video. Maybe I'll do that later on one of the vlogs. But anyway, I'll show a mini haul of what I got. And then also it's going to be like a review of everything on Disney World. As you guys know, it was our first time there. So I'll give you your thought. I'll give you my thoughts of what I thought of everything and the process and even how we paid for it. Not how we paid for it, but um, the cost. First, let's do the haul. So I got keychain that says Art of Animation and that was just our hotel that we stayed in. The keychain and I'm already using this on my keys. And then I got this. Now, it's multiple icons on it and I'll show you up close in a second, but it's Minnie and Mickey and then this right here says Walt Disney World. And then there's four things on here, one to symbolize each part. So we have Animal Kingdom, Epcot, Magic Kingdom, and um, Hollywood Studios. And I will try to show this up close, you guys. See, so Minnie and Mickey, and this one just says, if I can turn it around, come on. This one just says Walt Disney World. Let me just move them out the way. And this, then we have Magic Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, this is the Tree of Life for Animal Kingdom, and then Epcot. I don't know when I'm going to use this or if I'm going to actually use it. I may just hang it somewhere. When I was getting these, Giant has one also. So when I got this, I seen parts that were missing and I had to look at hers just to make sure, you know, what was all on there. So I don't know, I may just, hang that one up. You guys know we normally go to Disneyland every year, but we haven't been for two years. So I have a refrigerator magnet of the castle. So I thought, hey, I have to get a refrigerator magnet of the Magic Kingdom castle also, right? So this, it just says Walt Disney World. And also, I have been eyeballing this since it came out and I'm so glad I have it, but it's a Beauty and the Beast mug and I don't know if I'm actually going to drink out of this you guys and then it has a straw in it and then it lights up and you press it and it's different I don't know different settings for the light so I don't know if I'm actually going to use this if I do use it it's only going to be water I don't want to mess it up because to me it's more of a keepsake because I don't know I just like it the girls got uh, Monster University spirit jersey they each got one and they have like well Savannah has trading pins Cheyenne got also I don't think she got trading pins but she got keychains and Tyreek got pins and he also got a t-shirt but like I said I will probably show you guys that in like re a regular vlog because they are asleep right now that's super early but I got a Little Mermaid spirit jersey it's super cute and I got a 2x because and it's pretty big but I got a 2x because it is cotton and it will shrink a little bit so and in the back it says Walt Disney World so and it's the pretty green under the seat cover and it's really cute oh I didn't tell you the prices of any of this this was $59.99 so $60 I don't even know it just says purple behind here so I think purple was $6.99 or $7.99 and I think the same um this was red so if you don't know Disney um instead of putting the price on everything they have prices on a lot of things but sometimes they'll just put a little Thing like that that says red and then you look at the little thing at the top that they have and don't have like red purple you know green and then it'll tell you what price for each of the items the cup I believe was it was under $20 maybe $16.99 something like that and also I have a coffee cup I have coffee in it right now so I don't want to spill it but monsters ink I wouldn't have nothing if I didn't have you and then the front it has Mike and Sully. Mm -hmm. So yes, those are the things I got from Disney World. Um, I didn't spend a whole lot of money on souvenirs. 
because this trip was expensive and we were just looking for ways to save money. I was just happy to be there. So yeah, that's what I got. Am I leaving anything out? I probably am. And if I do, I'll show you later. Let's get to what I thought of everything. So um, I wrote everything down. So if you guys see me looking down, you'll know why. I wrote everything down because I didn't want to forget to tell you guys something. Let's get started. So you guys, by no means am I an expert. If it was Disneyland, I wouldn't call myself an expert, but pretty close because we go all the time and then even sometimes things I still don't know and I'll find out. But this is my experience for my first time there and I'll get, let you guys know what we thought of things. Okay, so my number one advice for Disney World is hydrate, 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 especially if you are going in the summer months. Florida, your heat is so humid and yeah, I'm from California and our heat is a dry heat and I've been to like the south before because that's where I was born. So I've been in that kind of heat before but my kids have never. So I was trying to prepare them like you're going to walk out and you're pretty much going to want to die because you know it's that humid out there. So yeah, my number one advice if you have never been or even if you still go, go in the summer months which I would never go in June, July, August because I went in September because I thought kids will be back in school so it should be less crowded, less crowded, and it should be cooler, which no, even when the sun went down, I was still sweating like a sinner in church at 10 o'clock at night. That's how hot it was. Yes, so my number one advice to anyone is to hydrate, and I don't mean with sodas, water, Powerade, something like that, that, you know, keeps you going. So Savannah was out of school during that time and before that her teachers were nice enough to give her her homework so she actually finished it before we left. The three nights before we left she was home and she was like working on homework till midnight because she said well I can do it on the plane there or I could do it when we have our rest day. Who wants to do homework on vacation? So no she made sure she had it done before she left and she did so she was off for that week, she did miss school, but we planned this in advance, so her grades have not fallen. She is still caught up with everyone. So I reserved this Disney World vacation, I think in February of this year. I think so, because when, and I keep saying this because it reminds me when we did make the reservations on my countdown calendar, it said 289 days. So we did it, um, and I actually called Disney World because I had a lot of questions and I called their resort, I don't know, I called the Disney World number, I asked them a whole bunch of questions, and so through them, I made my reservations. They can do your room, they can do your tickets, they can do your airline, your food, what's that, where they take the pictures, the, I don't know, I can't think of it right now, but they can have all that included where they take care of it. But with airlines, they had more expensive airlines and they chose three that um, were more expensive and Southwest was not one of it. So I personally chose only to use them for our room and our park tickets. We were in the Disney bubble. I did not want to stay off property because I didn't want an extra fee of renting a car or worrying about gas and paying for parking to the park. So that's the reason why we did it that way. With Disney, world you can choose moderate value or deluxe resorts and we had value because that was more in our price range one of these days it's on my bucket list to stay at the grand floridian and that's definitely a deluxe hotel and it's definitely a lot of this and yeah i don't know sometimes i just can't see paying a whole lot of money for time that you're spent that you're not going to spend there but it's still on my bucket list to stay there you can even choose like campgrounds where you drive your rv and hook it up to one of their things and I'm pretty sure that's a whole lot less expensive than any of the rooms. Um, don't quote me on that one though. As you guys know, we stayed at Art of Animation and it was amazing, the Little Mermaid area because they have four different areas in the Art of Animation. Finding Nemo, they have Cars, the Little Mermaid and the Lion King and we chose the Little Mermaid because we are, well, I'm mainly a Little Mermaid fan, and so yeah, that's what we did. So like I said, we chose the room in a five day, not a park hopper, but a five day one park um, ticket for each of us. We did 
two days in Magic Kingdom, a day in Animal Kingdom, Epcot, and then Hollywood Studios, but not in that order. And you guys, my second day that I went to Magic Kingdom, I did not vlog because I wanted to spend quality time with the kids. So thank you for understanding. So that's the reason why in my vlog, there's only four days posted, even though it says day five for Animal Kingdom. So I had to go to Magic Kingdom two days park that's like Disneyland to me. Um, it was awesome, it was amazing. When I seen the castle, I almost had tears in my eyes. It just, it, that park just reminded me so much of Disneyland. The Hollywood Studios reminded me of California Adventure. So the total for just the room and our five day, one park per day ticket for each of us was $3,155. And like I said, I did choose Southwest Airlines and I was able to get a flight that was direct to Florida and direct home. And that was, I told you guys, I got my notes here. So for the round trip flight for the four of us was $1,455.85. So total that we spent on this trip, not including food and souvenirs, was $4,556.39. So the good thing about Disney is if you don't have all the money up front, I don't know if it's the same thing with Disney Cruise Line, but with Disney World and Disneyland, before I thought I'll never be able to go to Disney World because I don't have all that money up front, you know, to pay right away. And the good thing about Disney World and Disneyland is they let you make payments. So when I first made these reservations, I had just had my taxes, so I put $700 down, but Disney only requires you to put $200 down when you make your reservations. And you can make whatever payment you want a month. They don't call you to say, hey, your payment's due. You get in contact with them. You tell them how much you wanna pay. If you know you get paid one month and you wanna put a thousand down, or if you wanna put a hundred dollars down, it doesn't matter. But 30 days before you leave, your trip has to be paid in full. So that's the good thing about that. That's how we did it. And there were actually maybe two months in between from when we first made the reservations until we made the final payment that during those two months, I didn't make a payment at all. And that was okay. Just long as, like I said, your payment is paid in full 30 days before you leave for your vacation. Okay, so 180 days before our vacation and Disney will send you mail reminders. I put it on my calendar. I just remembered it because I did not want to you know forget it um, 180 days out you can make your dining reservations so we made two dining reservations we did be our guest and we did Marques and 60 days before your trip you can pick your fast passes for the whole week or the whole trip they have tiered fast passes so if there's three popular rides you cannot pick all three of those popular rides for your fast passes but we were lucky and we were able to get all the fast passes that we wanted and the ones that we weren't able to get that because it was in the same tier we just stood in line for we just planned it perfect we honestly you guys we did everything we wanted to do also during that time I don't remember when but actually when you make your reservations you also can see your magic bands and so you can pick the color you can customize it that's the reason why we didn't put our own names like Michelle Tyreek whatever we put you know little nicknames I put mom shell and I showed you guys in the video that I made Cheyenne had Queen Shy Savannah had Sab and Tyreek had Ty T-H-A-I yeah anyway so you can customize your magic bands like that put whatever name you want on it whatever color and you have up until i think it's up until one month before you leave make sure that's what you want on it because two weeks before your trip but it was three weeks before mine we got our magic bands in the mail and so what your magic band is it is your room key let me show you guys so this is the magic band and I pick pink. This is your room key. This is your park ticket, your fast passes. You can even put your credit card on here. That way you can pay for stuff. That's not the way I chose to do things because I'd rather keep track of what's going out of my pocket instead of, you know, oh, let me just, you know, put it on something. So yeah, this is like everything. So um, you'll customize this and choose the colors. I think they have pink, like the one I just had. Tyreek had pink, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and gray. And there's even some that you can buy in the park to put designs on it or the part that's a circle, the little part inside. 
see the circle that's on the inside? That actually comes out. There's a screw on the back that you can take it off and you can put that on another um, band that has, I don't know, Toy Story on it or the Little Mermaid. I don't know, I don't know how they have Little Mermaid magic bands, but yes, the magic bands, you would get two to three weeks before your vacation. And I was actually worried about that because I'm like, what if for some reason, it gets lost in the mail, I don't get it, whatever. No, Disney is pretty much on time and I got it on time so I didn't have to worry about that. It also has your dining reservations on it and they also scanned it for our photo pass even though we didn't get photo pass, um, they still put it on there that way it can link to your whole account. If you are not a planner and expect to just go to Disney World willy nilly and stand in lines, okay, you can do that but plan on waiting a long time. I don't know what the low seasons is or you know, not the high season at Disney World, but if you're not a planner and just go and like, oh, we'll just stand in line for Frozen, plan on waiting two hours or oh, let me get in line for um, Fire Passage, two hour wait, you know, so yeah, you want to make sure you get your fast passes and you plan your day out that way you can maximize your time in the park. So we did not choose to park hop because we wanted to experience everything at that park as we can. Um, you guys know at if it was Disneyland, it'd be totally different at Disneyland. We park out between California Adventure and Disneyland because we've been there multiple times. We know where everything is. And I just can't see myself going to Disneyland without going to California Adventure on the same day. And that's just me. So we chose not to park hop. And when people say you cannot see everything at Disney World, I totally agree. Okay, so if you want to see all the shows, ride all the kiddie rides, see all the exhibits, take pictures with all the characters, ride all the rides, eat in all the restaurants or eat everything that people told you you must try. Yes, I totally agree. You cannot do that in one day. But if you plan your day out right ahead of time, you can pretty much get everything that you want to do done. See, my kids and me, you know, we're older so we don't ride the little rides and we, they have taken pictures with characters before in the past, so that's really not a big deal to them anymore. So we don't do that. We're mainly writers, we watch shows, um, we like to eat, apparently. And so yeah, we pretty much did everything we wanted to do. So we wanted to start our vacation out at Magic Kingdom and end it with Magic Kingdom because, you know, that's the original part. But I had to change it because when it got closer and I was, finding out what the park hours were and you know what was going on and I knew Halloween was getting closer the days that we wanted to actually be there they had the um, Halloween party and Disney does not care they will make you pay for a full price ticket and kick you out at 6 and then you would have to pay extra to get into the Halloween party and we don't celebrate Halloween because they don't discount it I'm not gonna pay all day and have you tell me I have to leave at 6 so that's the reason why we changed the days that we went even though it wasn't the way I planned it we still had an awesome time Hollywood Studios like I said it reminded me of Disney California Adventure, it had Toy Story Land there and for things like that. And Magic Kingdom, like I said earlier, reminded me more of Disneyland. Um, I love Magic Kingdom. I fell in love with the castle and I fell in love with Disney World actually, you guys. And Savannah almost cried when we left that second day because she was like, no, I don't wanna leave. And I'm like, I don't wanna leave either. It was just so magical. We were in the Disney bubble, like I said, with the hotel, the buses and all that. So yeah, I love Magic Kingdom. I also loved Animal Kingdom Park. That was my, that would be my second favorite park if I had to pick a second favorite. And Epcot, not so much. I don't know why, just not so much. But Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom, my two favorite parks. So be our guest restaurant, you guys. You are definitely paying for the experience. It was beautiful in there, and I was hoping that we would be able to um, see the beast walking around. He wasn't there when we were there, but um, they had three different rooms. I guess the main ballroom, which we were in, I guess that would what it would be called, and the rose room, which is darker. It would be like raining and lightning and a petal will fall off the rose but that room was completely full so we were not able to sit in there and then the other room that was next to us that had 
I guess maybe it was a, I don't know. Um, it was next to us, it was smaller, they had room in there, but we just chose to sit out into the main room. But yeah, you guys, the food there, I've seen on so many videos on YouTube that the food was delicious and I was expecting a lot. Other people said that they seen videos and people said that the food was not that great. I don't think the food was all that great. So I was expecting to get, they have the trio where you can get appetizer, uh, main entree and dessert. It's only on their dinner menu and we went there for lunch and I was expecting to get that but maybe that would have been better, I don't know. But what I picked was basically a glorified ham and cheese sandwich and it was okay but yeah, it was nothing that I would choose, you know, this is to me, this was just the best that I was able to get at the time. And the gray stuff. Y'all, them dishes lied. Because in my opinion, the gray stuff is not delicious. It's a gray mousse. And it's just, to me, it's just not good. I was very disappointed, probably because of all this time hearing about it and I see mixed reviews some people said eh. some people said oh it's so good and it's better than I imagined so I think in my mind I expected it to be really fantastic and it just was not it, it, it was not so if you have tried the great stuff please let me know what you thought in the comments below because them dishes lied it's not delicious okay so going back to Animal Kingdom so Flight of Passage you guys the Avatar ride where you get on and you ride the Banshee. So before I got on this ride and when we were watching, when the ride first opened, we were watching videos on YouTube and I even seen a bunch of videos where plus size people, cause you guys know I'm a little extra myself, you know, I've seen plus size people talk and say how they had to do the walk of shame and because they couldn't fit on the ride, they just scared me and terrified me. And so I'm thinking, Okay, well, I'm 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 busty, you know. I I'm, my stomach is not as flat as it should be, and you know whatever. And I got chunky calves, so they were say that the bar that closes down it closes down on your legs, on your calves, and also your mid back. And so even though I still got the fast passport, I was so worried because I'm like I don't want to do the walk of shame. I told my kids I'm like. If I can't ride this ride, I don't care what, you stay on it. And they're like, no mom, we're not gonna ride it without you. I'm like, don't be stupid. If I can't ride the ride, cause I'm fat, that's my fault. You're gonna get on this ride. We're at Disney World, this is our first time here. Don't know where we're gonna go back. You're gonna ride this ride. In mine, I wanted to vlog more, but I was so worried in my mind and I couldn't really talk or enjoy, you know, the scenery, which by the way, if you have fast passes, if you've seen the area where you, uh, avatars in the tank and all that little area right there you do not get to see that but to me that's a small price to pay for not having to stand in the two hour plus line so yeah you don't get to see that in the fast pass line so anyway as we're standing in line i'm worried i wanted to vlog more than what i did and i'm praying i'm like please lord let me let me be let's let me be able to sit on this ride without embarrassing myself and i even seen a video where one lady said okay if you're busty when you sit on you gotta just sit up straight suck your tum stomach in your tummy suck your stomach in and lift your calves up so it can latch on to the skinnier part of the calf so i'm remembering all this right y'all when i sat down the bar clicked with no problem and i'm i'm plus size i'm a little extra so yeah i was worried for nothing so when i was riding it so you're on the banshee and you have the 3d glasses on and it's like the whole world of avatar you're riding you know going through all the stuff kind of like soaring except you're riding the banshee and you can feel him breathing between your thighs it was so amazing it was so beautiful the quality of the picture was amazing and i even had tears in my eyes and i think it was a combination of relief that i fit on the ride and because it was better than what I expected. So yeah, I literally had tears in my eyes on that ride. So yeah, I fit perfectly and I fit fine and I didn't even have anything to worry about. So one thing you have to get if you have never been to Disney World or Disneyland is the My Disney Experience app. 
I'm telling you guys, it saved our life. Download the My Disney Experience app. So at Disneyland, we've been there many a time. So we know where the bathrooms are. We know where everything is. At Disney World, we were completely lost. So that My Disney Experience app, it's so amazing. You can put in certain ride or you can put in the nearest bathrooms and it'll give you walking directions and that's how we were able to get from one side of the park to our reservations at Be Our Guest on time because of this app. So you have to download the app if you've never been to be there before. It also has your photo pass on it. You can see your pictures. That's where you can make your dining reservations through that app or your fast passes. It is a wonderful thing to have. I'm telling you, if you've never been to Disney World, get my Disney Experience app. And also, if you've never been to Disneyland, get my Disney Experience app because I'm sure it will help you a lot. It cut down on necessary walking time because it gave you the best route to get to where you wanted to go. So yes, I definitely recommend you get the My Disney Experience app for Disneyland or Disney World and it will just save you a lot of time. Another thing that Disney World does that I love is the majority of the queues in line either inside or shaded with fans. Disneyland, take a hint. Yeah, maybe because Florida is so hot and that it rains often, I don't know, but this was very smart on their part. It's a small world, the line is inside. For Haunted Mansion, you start out outside, but it's shaded, and then you go inside. So yeah, I love that about Disney World, the majority of the queue or shaded or inside completely with air conditioning. So our hotel, Art of Animation, it was so much fun to stay at. We are kids at heart. You guys know I love Little Mermaid. She's one of my favorites, and I say that because she used to be my favorite princess, but then Princess and the Frog came out, and now it's a toss-up between the both of them. But I guarantee you, if they had a Princess and the Frog or a Tiana room or something like that, I would be in that room. But anyway, we stayed there. It was so cute. We were in that Disney bubble. I have nothing negative to say about the hotel at all anytime you call if you needed something because we opted out of mouse keeping which is they don't come in every day to change your sheets take out your trash vacuum your floors things like that so we opted out of it and I ended up getting a $60 Disney Visa card and they give you it's ten dollars each day so if I would have called like on the fourth day and been like I can't take this this room's a mess they would just charge me ten dollars when we just called them every Pretty much every night to give us fresh towels and then also we had them take out our garbage and then they would just give us bags to where we put bags in the garbage so yeah art of animation was so cute and i know a lot of people said that if you're staying in the art of animation the walk is so far from check-in yeah it's a little bit of a hike you have little ones after the park after walking all day and then you have to walk to your hotel i do get that so keep that in mind if you have little ones and they're not in strollers or even elderly people that are walking yes if you're getting off the bus or when you get back and you're not in the own car where you can park by the building that you're in and you're just walking through you know where you check in where the buses are it's a little bit of a walk but it wasn't that bad for me some nights I'd be like oh my goodness I wish the room was closer but it still wasn't that bad they have music playing the whole way and I don't know you just get to see the scenery of the hotel so the Disney bubble and to me it wasn't that bad I know I'm jumping around all over in this video I'm looking at my notes here but I'm also thinking of stuff that I forgot to write down so we had lunch one day at Epcot at Marrakesh. It was a Moroccan restaurant and it was really nice on the inside. And I realized when I was editing the vlog, I forgot to like pan around and show you guys the full restaurant. I think it was because I was just overwhelmed and just so happy to be there. And then they sang happy birthday to me. Yeah, you guys, I speak to you guys on YouTube, but I'm a really shy person and I try to avoid a scene or people staring at me at any cost and so the whole restaurant was staring at me but anyway yeah so I think I don't know maybe a combination of all that I forgot to show you guys the full restaurant the meal I got was really good I had lamb I think so that I had lamb shish kebabs or something like that Trey had salmon Cheyenne had lamb couscous I think it was she did not like that very much but what I had was really good. The lamb was cooked very well. It was just really, really good. And Savannah even danced with the belly dancer. If that's what you want to call her, I don't know. And if you guys haven't seen that video, it's on our Epcot video. Make sure you check that out. 
and Tariq even danced with the African dancers. You want to check that out also. So that's it, you guys. That is my week at Disney World in a nutshell. People used to always ask me what did I think was best, Disneyland or Disney World? Or I'd never been to Disney World, so I had nothing to compare it to. So that's what I would tell them. But now that I've been to Disney World, I love Disneyland, but I'd have to say Disney World is my favorite. I love Disney World. And when we were checking out a hotel, the guy, he asked the same thing. He said, what do you like better, land or world? And I told him, world. And he said, usually people from our side of the country like Disney World better and people from their side of the country like Disneyland better. I don't know. What do you think? If you've been to both, where do you live, number one, and what do you like best? So yeah, now that I've been to Disney World, I love Disney World and I cannot wait to go back. It's probably not gonna be something that I do every year like we did with Disneyland, even though we haven't been in two years. So in spite of the humidity, you guys, we had an awesome time. We made a family joke. We were sweating so much and I sweat so much already. And we were like, we look like we've been dipped in chicken grease because it was just so hot and I was just glistening, you guys. Like I said, if you go there, whether it's your first time or 80th time, please hydrate because I can definitely see someone passing out if they don't keep their self, you know, hydrated. So if you're going there for the first time, make sure you ask questions. Do your research, watch a lot of YouTube videos. That way you're not just going there and thinking, oh my God, there's so many people there, which there are gonna be a lot of people there and I don't, I didn't get the ride the ride I wanted. You know, do your research, get your fast passes, do all the things that's gonna help you maximize your vacation and to where you can you do all the things you want to do. So that's all I have you guys. That's my review on what I thought about the parks, <laughs> um, what I thought about the hotel and Disney World and the gray stuff. You are a seasoned Disney World goer and there was something that I left out and didn't say. Please leave that in the comments below for other people, for me, you know, that way we can know for next time. So do me a favor before you leave, please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.